All right. Hello, everyone. Michelle Krosmer here with Dr. Sean Hoshmi with Plant Based Kidney Health. And the question we are answering for you guys today is Can lisinopril make my GFR go down? Um, is that something that is temporary or permanent? And are there other blood pressure medications that can cause this to happen? Yeah, so when it comes to looking at lisinopril, lisinopril is a class of drugs that targets the <clears throat> RAS system. If you watch some of our videos before, we've talked about RAS. RAS is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system going on. And anytime you end up blocking this system, what's going to happen is a few different side effects. One of those side effects is, is blood pressure will go down. Other side effects is potassium will go up. There's a smaller chance of acute kidney injury that can even occur if the dose is too high, too fast. And lastly, you will see a reduction in GFR going on. And there's some chance or sometimes you need to be concerned, others you don't. And that's what we're going to address specifically. So as part of these RAS blockers, there are things called angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, which is drugs like lisinopril or ACE inhibitors. So anything that ends with a pril, lisinopril, benazopril, enalapril, are all the same. There's aldosterone receptor blockers like losartan, um, other ones, and so forth. Anything that ends in an R10 is going to be the same going on. And there's a few other categories like aldosterone receptor blockers, like uh, you have spironolactone, and you have other ones going on that specifically are trying to block aldosterone. Now, that being the case, what happens when you take one of these drugs? In general, you're going to see your GFR go down anywhere between 5% up to about 25%. This is normal. So you got to know that every time you start this drug, it's going to happen. It is not permanent. When you stop the drug, it will go away. But here's where you should be concerned. If the drop is greater than 30%, we have to reduce the dose or even sometimes stop the medication going on. So what is the most important thing you have to know when you start a drug like lisinopril? After about five days, you must get a blood test. Please, it doesn't matter how long you've been on the drug. If we start a new drug or if we increase the dosing, you have to get a blood test in about five days. Now, generally speaking, the, some nephrologists will say one to two weeks, that's fine. But really, according to what the literature says in terms of the pharmacokinetics, you're waiting about five days and getting that. If it's more than 30%, you do need to reduce the dose or stop it. But five to 25% is expected. It is normal. And if you ever stop the drug, it would come right back. So that's nothing to be worried about. All right, guys. I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks so much for checking us out and we'll see you next time.